how did the revolution affect the Egyptian economy in 2011 and up to now? I, I think it's um, the situation that's uh, in transition between 25th, like the highlighted in Mr. Rupan's speech, uh, and also the consequences of uh, John Cameron's and also uh, um, uh, the European Union. Uh, uh, Yes, the, uh, the European Union foreign policy chief or for, former foreign policy oh, chief, Catherine yeah. Ashton. Oh, that's one. All this way, the consequences of the reaction of the influences of Egypt. So the, the sequences of that point that Egypt is a very strategic influences country across the area, specifically in the Middle East. So stability of Egypt means stability of the Middle East. Any violence is why stable situation to Egypt. That mm -hmm. means the benefits and uh, the all uh, functions which it's added value to all these countries is directly affecting influence to them and their business. Mm -hmm. Yes, and uh, the way that we moved the forward from 25th up to the 30th of June was negative signs. And if you try to believe the economy of Egypt, mm -hmm. we come down and down. And this is clear vision that's uh, in terms of development factors, we come down to 2% to 2.2. And uh, if you try to evaluate even the way that uh, the internal uh, uh, um, loans and uh, also the foreign loans, all this is coming yes. worse and worse. The external yeah. and the internal debt. Uh, exactly. That yes. The external debt is coming to uh, 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 extra uh, 11 uh, billion dollars. And we talk about uh, 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 2,000 billion Egyptian pounds that the internal that it's coming. Mm -hmm. So I think all well, that factor was not so easy uh, to recognize unless you have different philosophy in the currents and the way behave. Yes, so yeah. that was the past, uh, Dr. Benal. How do you see the future of Egypt regarding the, the International Economic Conference, which will be held in the month of March in Sharm uh, I just uh, tried to just. The last uh, uh, announcement had been published reports by the uh, Monterey uh, International uh, uh, Bank and the International Bank Control that the basket for Egypt is coming stabilized and there is clear vision and advice <laughs> to the whole international investor that the situation of Egypt is coming benefits because that all the situation of Egypt power, the new challenge, new products, and uh, also new product like I said in the Bayani, that uh, included them to deliver a lot of investment. If you have to evaluate how we spread the business mm -hmm. across the world, specifically in the area of Suez Canal and developments for that area, you will show that uh, there is in addition to the whole wallet, including we are not excluding anybody. We already including the whole wallet. We have American business, we have Canadian business, we have Russian business, we have a Chinese business, we have even Russian and also European business. All is <coughs> a cumulative invitation and supporting and also uh, 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 promising that uh, the activities of all these foreigners in Egypt it's secure to the business yes, and hopefully we will be uh, of course succeeding in organizing such a conference to say finally how do you see as I asked Dr. Gamal uh, the future of Egypt economically with the international conference in March uh, of course uh, I see the future of Egypt as I mentioned before uh, it's a bright future and before I say that, we used to speak the language of one alternative. Mm -hmm. Now we speak the language of several alternatives. Mm -hmm. We were depending on one side of the world, one country. Now you speak the language of different alternatives. Mm -hmm. We have cooperation, for example, with, with Russia, with China, with the big visit in, in, in China, for example. And with this kind of diverse relationship, Worldwide, we open our door with the African nation. We have a major support from the Gulf country. Uh, all of this bring more opportunity to Egypt. Mm -hmm. And if you take a lesson from whatever happened in the last four years, look for the other country for Arab Spring, mm -hmm. where we are right now, and where is the Egyptian? Mm -hmm. Egypt, right now. It's the power of Egyptian people. I always count. And the Egyptian army. Uh, it, it, it's Egyptian people. Yes. The Egyptian army is part of 
the Egyptian people. Mm-hmm. My brother is in the army, your brother in the army, yeah. my, my son in the army, mm-hmm. and that is that is the people of Egypt. Yes. And that is the driving force for any development. Uh, and I will tell you, Mr. Obama, right now, Egyptian people, we are going to do the unexpected things. Mm-hmm. The, but the message we should send for the Egyptian people, let's start work. All different people should work for the development in Egypt. All it takes is one person, and we have the president, who have the commitment, who have the uh, power of influencing uh, his people. But for all different people in Egypt, we should work. It is the time for work. Yes, and this is the most important advice, Dr. Saeed Al Khouli, the political analyst, Dr. Ganem Al Abid, the political analyst as well. Thank you very much for being, uh, for being with us today on this uh, special edition. And of course, I will be thanking you for watching, and I will be seeing you later. Goodbye.